All right, so I'm recording pool school. Yes. 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 What up? All right, it's not Facebook Live or anything. I'm just recording it. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. So you guys have questions on the pool? Like what you've been seeing or wondering about? You'd mention something about the skimmer being able to pick that stuff up. Yeah, so the skimmer, um, you know, whenever it's like there's little bugs floating on top of the water slash leaves floating on top of the water, not in, um, does that pick that up? You know, can you kind of... It, it, it can, but if the wind direction is changing on you, it's going to mess with that and it's going to end up floating in a corner somewhere if the, if the wind shifts in a different okay. direction. Mm -hmm. and, and did we have a net? You should have had a yeah. net and a brush, a pole... All so we didn't stuff. open the we didn't open the boxes, but there's the there's the it brush. Be a blue net somewhere around here. So it's probably on the other side of the What's house that? in that box. Oh, by yeah. the, is there a, the pole cleaner on that side? Yes. It's probably right over there. Yes. So okay. that's what hooks up right to your pole. Okay. So you disconnect the brush, connect the the net up to it, and then you can get any leaves that doesn't okay. end up in the skimmer. So we need to bring that over here. And yes. Can you go get it, babe? Yeah, I'll get it. Okay. So, so real quick on that umbrella sleeve right there, I know the yes. wind's blowing. Uh -huh. So it's just a little screw cap. So okay. you can just take like a little pair of pliers, kind of loosen up. It might be in there pretty tight. Okay. Um, so people are saying that the umbrellas are a little skinnier. The poles are like shrinking the poles a little bit. Uh -huh. So they don't quite fit super straight perfect. It kind of wobbles a little oh, bit. Oh, it does. So what people are buying is a little rubber grommet like you would have in your round table where you put the umbrella in. Okay. And that kind of gets it where it's straight. Okay. That's just what people are saying. This sleeve is a certain diameter, and it mm -hmm. must be the people that are making the umbrellas are shrinking them for cost reasons, I'm mm -hmm. sure. And they don't, it doesn't fit quite perfectly tight in there. Okay, yeah, that's what I was going to ask, if it was something that would screw in or... But, okay. Yeah, the top just unscrews, so you can drop your umbrella in there. And then when you don't have an umbrella in there, make sure you put that top, screw that top back in there, because debris will get in there, and okay. it's kind of a pain in the butt it's to It's going to be hard to yeah. clean. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I want to thank you guys for, um, I know it was a last minute change to add the, uh, the trim towel. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. I'm, I'm so glad you guys were able to, to swing that in at last minute. Is. Still okay. fresh in the bag. Yes. So we just, just boom. Yeah. So then these things just clip right in the end yeah. of the pole, just like the brush. Okay. Gotcha. So I'm going to put these over there. Okay. And then, um, I have a question about the, the vacuum, mm -hmm. uh, machine thing. Okay. What's oh, the question? So, because I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> Everybody so, calls it something different. Because, pool cleaner, I mean, skimmer, whatever you want to call it, you can call it whatever. Mm -hmm. So, at what point do you, some people have to leave it in their pool yeah. when they're not in the pool? Yeah, most right? people most people take it out when they're swimming. Okay. Uh, or if you're entertaining and you don't mm -hmm. want it, it looks better when it's out. Right. You just pull it out, and then what we tell you guys to do is don't coil it up the hose around the cleaner because it molds that shape and then fights against the cleaner. So, when you take it out, just stretch it down the side. So the hose is straight. Oh, okay. okay gotcha. You know what I mean? Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to keep it out for the weekend, you can just disconnect it. They're little four foot sections and you can put it in a storage box or something if you have those. Things. Okay. But just don't okay. coil the hose up. Okay. So just make sure the hose make is sure straight. Make sure it's as straight as you can get. Okay. Even one loop would save it better than okay. coiling up like that. Gotcha. And okay. that goes in week four. After okay. Week four. Okay, week, four. week four. So week four is like your anniversary where you can, you can use the spa and heat it up to whatever it can. We'll come back out and put the pool cleaner in. Okay, that was going to be my question. Yeah. If somebody's we'll get it coming set up, out. we'll adjust the valve so it's 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 running around, cruising around. It's okay. only going to work in high speed, okay. so not in low speed. Only when it ramps up to the high speed. Right when the now, pool is on. Speed. Okay, when the pool is on high speed, you mean? Yes. Okay, and yes. this one um, crawls up the wall too, right? Well, it does say that on the box, but we don't want it to crawl up too high. Right. Okay. Because then it will crawl up and come out of the water and suck in air. Okay. And it makes the pump work overtime, which we okay. don't want. But you guys are set it up to we'll, how? We'll set up. It'll probably come up about halfway and then turn itself back around. Okay. And then go on the bottom of the pool. Okay, so that's the setting. Yeah. Okay. And that also saves me for, you know, when I'm trying to brush it and stuff like yes. that at least it yeah. does some of the work yeah okay. the sides are supposed to be brushed mm -hmm. not not rely on the pool cleaner to go mm -hmm. around and mm -hmm. do that. okay okay it's not obviously it's not going to get in your spa and it's not going to get on your, your big bench your big right okay there. yeah that's that, that's manageable yeah so as okay. far as the uh the chemicals and monthly quarterly annually like what um how often and what type of chemicals go in there other than remembering what boxes of yeah. 
those are probably almost gone anyways. That was kind of like the startup chemicals. Mm -hmm. So once a week, the chemicals need to be checked and rebalanced. Every week, you're going to be rebalancing the chemicals. So how do you check the chemicals? We should have gotten a little test kit too. It's probably Did we get the other side of the way. Um, get the, get the whole a, box, Joshua, it's a little so black, you can bring the box. It's a little black test kit. Okay. Yeah, go get. And then we had this box left over. Or That's just maybe tile right there. So this box has some stuff in it. I don't know what all this stuff is. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's got a hose that we're going to use eventually. What is so that? So this is part of your ozone system. Okay. So uh, a lot of the ozone power supplies were back ordered. Mm -hmm. So we've been just waiting forever for those things to come in. I, I heard they finally came in. So we're going to come back out, install the power supply, the ozone system, and then we're going to hook this hose up to it. Okay, so none of this is the ozone system yet? No, nothing yet. Okay, and can you explain um, the difference? Because I know a lot of people are like, well, what type of pool do you have? Yeah, he had asked me that too. Uh, we have chlorine. You have a chlorine pool. Okay. But you put a, use a lot less chlorine in these pools than you would. And say your neighbor had a pool that didn't have ozone infusion kind of system. Okay. On like a scale that these things have. The test kit. Okay, good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, these things have a scale of like between zero to a five. Mm -hmm. Let me show you real quick. So here's the chlorine side of it. Mm -hmm. So what most pools that don't have the system you guys have are going to be up here chlorine wise. They're going to be higher. Mm -hmm. Whereas your pool is going to stay in the one to two range. Okay. Which is better for you guys when you're in the spa. When the kids are swimming, when you're swimming with your eyes open, it's not driving you nuts, making your eyes all red. Mm -hmm. It's just a softer feeling. It is still chlorine, but we just use less of it. Okay. With your type of system. So when you're checking chems, you're going to add water up to both these lines. So we, what we do is just, just scoop water scoop out of the pool. Okay. And mm -hmm. then you're going to fill it up to these lines here. And then this yellow one, you're going to add five drops okay. on this side to test the chlorine. Okay. and five drops on the red to okay. test the pH levels. And then you shake them up. Easy. Yeah, super simple. And there's usually a little card. Slides on the back that will give you a better backdrop. So when you're reading it, mm -hmm. you get a truer reading. Mm -hmm. You can keep that in there. Okay. <laughs> or, or you can get the test strips. They, they do have test strips out there that you drop in the water, you pull it out, and it reads five things instead. So when, so when the results come, how, how would it look? So say for instance we there was the say the chlorine level was a 1.0. Mm -hmm. What you're gonna have to do is say add a gallon of chlorine to this pool, test it again the next day, and see what one gallon raised your particular pool to. You can't go off a chart because every pool has a different shape, different depth, different landscaping, different mm -hmm. sun exposure. Mm -hmm. So you where you're learning this pool. If we were servicing this pool, we'd be doing the same thing, trying to learn this pool, what it takes to raise it to the levels we want. So where, where does it say what levels we need? So for, for you, well, this is the standard test kit. So don't go off of this. You just want to keep your chlorine levels between a one and a two. Okay. Does that answer? Yep. Is that what, you know what I mean? Yeah. So ignore this kind of setup. This is a standard test kit on a basic pool. So we can mark on the, the white thing and, you know, make yeah. a little level yeah. on the back of it. A little magic marker somewhere mm -hmm. or something like that. But you're going right here. Now, mm -hmm. when we have super hot weather in a couple months where so it's hot it, for a long period of time, you might raise it up just a hair, but not much. Okay. So will it turn a certain color to let you know where it's it, It's going to turn yellow or yellowish color. Oh, and okay. then you just match the colors and look at the shades. Okay. okay. Same thing if you did the test strips, where you go buy test strips, you dip it in, you pull it out, and it changes colors, and you match it up on the side of the little bottle. Gotcha. Which okay. sometimes people uh, find that to be easier than doing the Breaking Bad stuff. Mm, so these colors, it needs to be those colors on right. the strip. Okay. Yeah. So when you so when so this is the two different things too. When the chlorine level is low here, you're adding chlorine to the pool to bring this level up. When the pH level is high, you're adding acid to the pool to bring this level down. Oh. Let's see where you're at now. So because if it's below here, you need to ask. Them. Yes, yes, and you're gonna have to learn. Are you guys servicing the pool? Um, right now we haven't figured out. Um, yeah, we're gonna start off. Okay. I don't, I don't want to pay anybody. Yet. So yeah. if it's if it's easy, so <laughs> yeah, I, don't I don't know, know if yeah. it's gonna be easy or not. You know what I mean? Like, it just depends. Summer is the hardest time to learn because uh -huh. it's so dang hot and mm -hmm. everyone is in the pool. So, right. but it's not like you're going through this and you're wondering. Just month. take a picture. Yeah. And we can help you. Send it in to us and give mm -hmm. us the reading and we can help you on what to add. Okay. okay. If you
you want to. And if you're adding, remember this, you're adding gallons of chlorine at a time. To what the number pool. to text? Yeah, I'll give you my card too. Okay. It has my cell or the office okay. line. Okay. When you're adding chlorine, it's it's gallons of chlorine at a time. So okay, one gallon, gallons. two gallon, three gallons. Okay. When you're so adding nice. acid, mm -hmm. it's quarter gallons at a time. Okay. Okay, we get we get that on the uh, but more than likely, uh, to be honest, if you get the test strokes, it's going to be way easier for you guys. Okay. So now another question. So if we don't get the readings that we're supposed to get, that's a no-go on getting in the pool? If there's zero chlorine in the pool, you'd be shocked at how many of these pools have zero chlorine and they're crystal clear. Mm. If you have the whole soccer team over here and mm. it's zero chlorine, it's going to probably turn and be a little cloudy on you the next day. Mm. If it's just you guys swimming, it's not going to be a huge thing. But you definitely want to have chlorine in, so it fights bacteria and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. And some days when you're going to be adding the extra chlorine to the pool, because right. it is zero, you're probably going to want to wait to swim too. So what I need is like all the stuff that we are potentially needing to add, like the item number and stuff like that, so I know mm -hmm. exactly what to order. So you can, yeah, you can go over to any Leslie's or a Home Depot or a Lowe's or a Sam's Club, Costco. They all sell chlorine. They all sell full acid. Okay. And you're gonna want to get a bucket of tablets too, little three-inch hockey puck tablets. Okay. Because that's gonna be that's gonna help you get through the summer. Okay. So, I know how like, like just like sneakers, you know, there's all different types of brands. Which ones do they, you guys? They're all gonna have the similar brand of chlorine. Just depends. Lowe's may has their brand. Home Depot has theirs. Okay. Leslie has theirs. It's all the same. It's all the same. Yeah, so don't worry is, about. Okay. There's not one better than the other. Okay, that's what that's yeah. what I'm at. There, are a lot of the, us pool guys use chlorine that's in jugs that's not designed to be on the shelf. That's the only thing that is better where you actually buy pool guy chlorine. But you would need to get that over at Leslie's. That's the only place you're going to get that. That's going okay. to be stronger, about 10 to 15 percent stronger, mm -hmm. compared to the, the two pack like this mm -hmm. that you buy at Home Depot or Leslie's. That's designed to be on the shelf. Um, okay. It's just not as strong, so you might use a little more of this type of chlorine versus we just call it the pool guy chlorine. So the main two mm -hmm. things, just to recap, the main two things. See those <laughs> darn bugs. Yeah. <laughs> so the main two mm -hmm. things of test uh, um, monitoring is the acid and the chlorine. On a weekly basis, that's typically what you're doing. Quarterly, I'd be checking the water hardness in the pool. I'd be checking like phosphates in the water. Now again, How do those, you test those, those test strips I was mm -hmm. telling you about, we'll test for five things at once. Oh, oh we need to get those. yeah. Okay, <laughs> so, so I'm trying to tell you. We need to get those. Mm -hmm. This is a, a basic test kit. Okay. The strips are easier for. We will not be using this. We'll be using okay. the test strip. That's okay. a souvenir. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sometimes, if you're maintaining yourself, I would recommend maybe once a quarter taking a, a bottle, a water sample, over to the pool store. Let them test it. Make sure nothing's out of whack. So. Oh, nice. It doesn't get too far. It's a free yeah. test. They'll That's do it for better. you. Yeah. Okay. Um, so just once a quarter. Yeah. Okay. Just to be safe. You mm -hmm. know? Okay. You're gonna, you guys are going to be using the heck out of it. It's a brand new toy. So yes. it's going to go fluctuate some, you know? Okay. Yeah, I know the kids been waiting. They were like, why? Well, I know. We can't get in. <laughs> I know. One more week. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, because so I know pool, I was thinking. Your pool is, uh, has an auto fill on it, so it automatically fills for you. So you don't have to put the hose in anymore. Okay. Kind of like when you were filling it when it first got pebbled. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do that anymore. Did they show you the video we made? No. No? Oh, Send man. it to me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we made a video, got a chance to have the boys fill. Oh, right on. And I had a, um, I had a picture up. So is this the autofill? Uh, yes, this one's the mm -hmm. autofill. So as Ooh. this as this goes down, it fills up. Okay. When it comes back up, it stops. You're going to continuously have dirt in here because you're going to be hosing off your deck. Oh, okay. You're going to have awesome. dust. You're going to have sand. It's, okay. gonna, it's not going to be perfectly clean just because of your yeah. decks. You know. Okay, so it's but it's pool water and just dust. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. That's all it is. And then okay. this is your skimmer right here. This is where he would like all the bugs to come to, and a lot of them are already here. Mm-hmm. Joshua, look, here's all the bugs. It's working. Uh, it's working. Up. All the bugs. <laughs> what are those? Those, what June, of... those are June bugs. Mm. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, you get those. You get those around here this time of year. Mm. That's crazy. So they just like the water. They won't die. They just. Well, they're they're uh, they're not doing very good in there. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's so not your we, pool. 
what do we do with this? So on a weekly basis, when you're checking the chemicals, you're going to be checking out this basket to see what's in here and you just empty it in your dumpster or your trash can on the side. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So now, yeah. so how do we, um, operate everything? Yes. Okay. So that's from the, from an app. You guys all have the app? Yes. Okay. So let's, we can go over that. Okay. okay. Well, let's put this back in there because the. Oh, I'm going to put it back there with this in there. Oh, I'm empty. <laughs> and Isaiah, you don't ever touch these, okay? You don't ever touch these things. I don't want to. be inside there. Yeah. He said one more week and you can get in, okay? One more week. That's going to feel like 10 years. I know. I know. <laughs> one more week, my bad. For your birthday. You want to have a pool it's party? It's 13 days. 13 days? Yeah. You want to have a pool party? No. No? Okay, well, I'll have a yeah. party. I'll have a pool party for you because it's, it's partly my birthday, too. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to share your birthday with me? Yeah. The way you guys did your landscaping, you're probably not going to have a ton of debris in there. It's mm -hmm. honestly the debris that ends up in people's pools is usually their neighbors. Mm-hmm. You guys, you guys did it right, the way you planted everything. It's going to be low maintenance. You might get some wood chips, you know, every so often. Okay. Nothing so I was worried about the sand. So if this, I know the kids know better than to throw the sand in there. Okay. But is it going to clog the system over time with the wind blowing? No, because there's some maintenance over here that needs to happen that's going to, going to help prevent that. Okay. okay. Now you may get sand in your spa sometimes. But that's you may annual get maintenance, it. though. That's, yeah, every every four months that filter right there needs to be cleaned. This big one right here. Okay. <laughs> this one right here. Okay. So, so when, it, when it gets above 30, that's when you know it's due to be cleaned. Okay. You're good. You're good for another four months, so you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Okay. We're a weekend, you got, you know, just over three, three and a half months until this needs to be cleaned. So when, when you are going to clean this, this is the brain of everything right here. Okay. okay. So. Isaiah, get back over the, uh, 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 go back on the other side of the line. So if there's ever a problem with the pool, there's a weird noise, there's a leak, anything like that. If you see that it's in auto right now, there's a, a light next to auto. If you hit it one time, it puts it in service mode. Shuts the system down, it will not come back on. Okay. This is when you are just here to service the pool and maintain it. You can get into that basket. You can clean this filter. Do whatever you want to do over here because you don't want to ever turn opening anything when the equipment's running. Right. Always okay. shut it down. So when you're going to clean this filter, you, you twist this little air relief valve right here. Okay. It lets the pressure out of the filter. Mm -hmm. This is a 916 full socket or wrench. They take that off. This clamp comes off. The lid comes right out and there's four cartridges in here. Okay. And you just hose them off with like a high pressure nozzle or uh, one of those small electric pressure washers will work. Nothing too crazy so it doesn't kill the cartridges. Right. And they'll probably last five or six years if you're cleaning them on a regular basis. Right. You may end up doing it one extra time because of your sandy beach over there. It just mm -hmm. depends. And mm -hmm. you guys will have to learn that as you're, you know, maintaining the pool. And that'll be when that's over 30 to let us know. Yeah, you'll what start to it? know because you'll see that the pool cleaner is going a little slower than normal. Your jets aren't as strong. It's taking longer to heat. Those are all signs exactly. that the yep. filter's dirty. Okay. And if the mm -hmm. pool's getting cloudy after a, a normal weekend with you, just you guys in the pool kind of thing, okay. get this cleaned up. Okay. So when you get done cleaning it, you basically just put it back in reverse order. You know, get the cartridge back in there, get this back on, put the clamp back on. There's an O-ring around this tank right here. Make sure that's seated in the correct place. Mm -hmm. Leave this open, turn on the pump, let it fill back up with water. Then you're going to see water squirting out of here. Once that does, then you can just close it, slip it back up. It just helps prime the, prime the, the system. Okay. And if we needed to get pool service, like say we can request a, a mm -hmm. service so that mm -hmm. they can come and do this portion for us every every three months or yeah, every four, four months. months. Yeah. Okay. If somebody is going to service the pool themselves, what a lot of people end up doing is whether it's us or somebody else. But what we do is we get this on a schedule mm -hmm. and clean this. You have a mineral cartridge right here that needs to be replaced every six months. Okay. 
this one's gonna last 30 days. It's like a starter one that the build, builder gives you to kind of get you through that first month. Mm -hmm. This one will need to replace every six months. You'll put two of them in. Two in? Two in a year. Oh, okay. I was yeah. gonna say, where's the other one fit? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh, that component I was telling you about that we're still waiting for that just came in that we're gonna install it, that's the ozone system. So what mm -hmm. that does is it gets all the bad stuff out of the water and that mineral cartridge that I showed you sends good minerals back into the pool. Oh, nice. Which allows you to use less chlorine in the pool. Okay. Okay, because it's taking all that crud out of the water and just letting the chlorine do its job. Oh, I need that. Yes. So it, it's in now. I'm sure we're gonna, it's going to be on the schedule next week and we'll get out here and install that. It's going to awesome. be a little black box. What is it's going to uh, be right about here. What is okay. that? Tester? Called just test strips. Test strips. As a five in one test strips. They make five in one and they make seven in one if you wanted to get crazy and test two more things. The two things are they the extra two things are worth it or what? No, not really. I okay. mean, if somebody wants to be extra, extra crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay. The five and one will work perfect for you guys. Okay. But I would recommend doing the sample every so often just to, to double check things. Okay. Um, let's see Back to your auto fill. I know so we just showed you every week. You said once a week. Once a week. So pick a day. Don't wait till the pool starts to look funky before you start adding chems. Get on mm -hmm. a regular basis of checking that I got you. and making sure. Otherwise, it'll go south on you really quick. Right. Do you want to do like Fridays? Yeah. It's the end of the week. Yeah, yeah. Friday. Mm -hmm. Or I think we can do on Saturday. We can go purchase. Well, here's the thing on that. I'm gonna throw you a curveball. Some people don't like their pool service on Fridays because then it's higher in chemical throughout the whole weekend. Uh, so maybe back it off a day if you can if that's your, your day off it is what it is and that's the day you do but you will be a little higher in chemicals on the weekends if you're doing that and adding stuff on friday mm. versus versus a little further back away from the so week, you, weekend you would recommend wednesday wednesday yeah wednesday would be actually probably pretty ideal okay. oh, day. <laughs> <laughs> so your autofill well, i know we talked about your float over there mm -hmm. this is the valve for it Okay. So in case something sticks and all of a sudden it's just continuing to fill and there's you know you can't shut it off, just come over here and hit this valve and it will shut it off. Okay. So this this water source comes up from usually your sprinkler valves. Okay. And this one goes out over to your pool. You can shut either one of them off. We would shut this one off if we had to work on this. Okay. But it's going to stay in the on position at all times. Okay. So on is is horizontal. Yeah. And the autofill is designed to add water for evaporation. If you have 25 people in the pool and there's seven inches of water that gets tossed out, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to drop a hose in. This is gonna take forever to catch back up. Okay. Okay, so the, the autofill is just for evaporation, not to refill because you have, you know, a whole group in the pool and half the water went out. Okay. You okay. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'll, it'll fill it back up, it's just gonna take a lot longer to do versus okay. you dropping a hose in there just to get it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You get what you're saying, babe? I'm, I'm, yeah, because uh, he he just answered the question that I was about to ask. Okay. Because <laughs> I was going to ask, what is it? What, what happens if the water gets like evaporated? Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. the That's auto what the auto fill is designed. I don't to think do. he okay. saw it open when because I think he was the throwing it. Yeah, he was throwing something away. Don't be alarmed because there's dirt in there. Okay. So when the water gets goes down, it starts to fill up. When the water fills up to the right level. It okay. comes up and just like a toilet kind of setup. Okay, so that yeah. so we never have to put water in. Here, no, just do. just a, no. Okay. This is tied into that valve right there, so it's constantly got water going okay. to it. I'm just saying, if you have a huge group and you're splashing a ton of waters out, this is going to take a lot longer, longer to, fill. to fill it up. You okay. might have to throw Top those in just to help catch it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And the level that we wanted at is like the the top uh, the top two tile. No, what you want to pay a lot of attention to is this opening right here. So just make sure there's plenty of water that covers that opening. We don't want that water level to drop. So really that's super important for you guys just to take a peek every so often to make okay. sure the water level is covering at least half of that opening. If it drops too low, it's gonna start sucking in air and it, uh -huh. it will it burn out the motor. So if it ever gets below that. Shut the pool off, put it in service mode like I showed you. Uh -huh. Get a hose in here and fill it up. Okay. And or if somebody's working on their sprinklers and doesn't realize it and you shut off your sprinkler water source, it's going to shut the autofill off. Okay. So mm -hmm. remember that if you're working on any sprinklers okay. and you got stuff shut off. Okay. Right. And let's see. 
over back to the pool cleaner. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're going to start calling it or whatever. <laughs> we're going to call it Captain Casey. Yeah, there's a little port right here on the side of the pool. That's where it's going to plug in at. See that little gray thing and then the wind's kind of... Underneath low. the Yeah, pool? underneath right mm -hmm. there. Oh, shoot. That's where it's going to go in at. Oh, that's awesome. It's got a little flap that comes down. Uh -huh. And if you pull it out, it'll stop any suction. So nobody's going to swim up. It's going to catch their shoulder. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. kid's going to stick a pool toy in or anything mm -hmm. like that. So it just okay. hooks, hooks in it. Yeah, it just plugs right in. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. So when you are going to put it back in, make sure you turn the pump off because the suction is going to keep that hatch tight and you're not going to be able to get it up. You know what I mean? You're not going to open it up. Well, you guys are connected up. it the first time. I'm just saying, yeah, afterwards. Okay, okay. Well, when I'm going to pull it out. <laughs> what's that? Okay, so you say if attention. we have to pull it out, turn it off first. No, just when you're going to plug it back in, turn it off because the hatch is going to come down and suck real tight. Mm -hmm. And you're never going to be able to get the hatch back open to put the pool cleaner in. Oh, okay. so just just put it in service mode and then you can open up the hatch, put the pool cleaner back in and then turn it back on. OK, when you are putting the pool cleaner in the pool, don't just chuck it in the pool and plug it in. Uh -huh. Take the, the head of the cleaner first, put that in the water, let it fill up and then put the hose in straight. Okay. So you're kind of trying to prime the hose. So it's okay. not a whole lot of air in the line. So okay. it doesn't make the pump work overtime. Okay. Okay. That's the whole point. And you'll see if you put the hose in straight, you'll see water starting to come up all the way to the top and then you know you're good and you can plug it in. Okay. Nice. It's quiet without it running, huh? I know, <laughs> but you know what? It's not super loud either. No, these pumps are a lot quieter than they used to be, that's for sure. Do you still have it in service mode or is it? Yeah, I just shut it off. Okay. So I mentioned, um, I forgot the guy who came the other day, but we have this... Uh, a this chip, yeah. yeah this happened when they came and did the uh the interior oh okay what day what day did he say he was gonna do they didn't give a date and he said he'll let i'll i'll, I'll reach out to the the project manager and, okay. and uh, find out for you he said two okay. things one is that that and then, the pebble and then the they got some pebble on the coping that uh, looks okay. a little weird over there that happens isn't that yeah. did you guys watch the pebble process i Isn't did it was really nice there's like 10 dudes and they just all have a job and it's, yeah. it's crazy with all the hoses mm -hmm. and all that. yeah yeah it's super cool i made a cool little I video it's old watching that yeah <laughs> on their spike shoes <laughs> yeah so the pool cleaner valve is right here so when we go and install the pool cleaner we're going to adjust this valve right here and it doesn't have to be touched after that Okay. That's the, really the only manual valve here. Everything else for you guys is automated. So okay. everything will be turning with the push of a button. Okay. okay. Question. When, uh, let's say you guys come and install the pool cleaner. Good to go. We have a party. We take the pool cleaner out of the pool. How do we reconnect? Or do we turn off the, like you said before? Yeah, turn off, turn yeah. off the system. Okay. Open up the open hatch. Up. Prime the, okay. the cleaner and the hose and just plug it back in gotcha super simple all right and then you don't, have to, don't touch need that. to touch that yeah you don't okay. need to touch that all right good to go mm -hmm. so if the pool hopefully eventually we do get some rain down the road mm -hmm. if it does fill up you can hook up a garden hose to this hose bib right here and if you have a drain somewhere right here perfect mm -hmm. you can buy that little 10 foot hose you can get over at home depot or lowe's and just you can even leave it hooked up and you drop it in this drain right here make sure the pump is on open that up and we'll help lower the pool for you oh, okay so if it overfills so if it overfills water, the pool water comes straight out of there yeah don't use that for anything people try to water the plants <laughs> it's gonna have chemicals in it right okay but you can buy that little cheap hose and then it's there perfect it, really <laughs> it hasn't i hope it does it eventually <laughs> we need some rain i've only but... seen it maybe once where it was like man yeah. Hard. Mm -hmm. Or if the autofill sticks and there's, you know, it sticks on and fills the pool up and you need to lower it back down, you can use that hose bed for it. I have a question about the warranty. I just thought about it. Yeah. So I just skimmed through it and I saw like one year here, one year there on mm -hmm. this and that. And mm -hmm. So why is the warranty so low? Well, the, all the equipment is three years. Okay. So all the Jandy equipment you see here is three years. So parts and labor. The coping, the tile, that falls under the one-year warranty. Mm -hmm. As far as why, I would reach out to the build office to be more detailed than that. We kind of work on this stuff, mm -hmm. uh, but we don't, uh, we don't really deal with the, the construction side of it. Okay, but so the, I'm just worried about, like... So the pool... So well, think pool, about this. I have pebble. I was telling him I have pebble, and mm -hmm. our pool's 22, year old, 22 years old, and it looks just like it did when we applied it. 
Okay. So it's a great product. It's going to last for yeah, you know, a like very Dre long had time. The redo theirs. Yeah, because oh, they had plaster. Yeah. 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 Oh, so it is plaster. So there you go. That's yeah. why. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. You'll, you'll never replaster. Did they re school. did they replaster or did they get pebble? They got pebble now. Oh, okay. Like, mm -hmm. So they got smart and so yeah, yeah I don't want to <laughs> deal mm -hmm. with that again because <laughs> mm -hmm. you have to demo it down to the concrete shell. Yep. Yeah. You know, so. Yep. Like I was telling you, people do more stuff over here and do plaster and they regret it. Yeah. You, you said the coping is one year, then what's the other one year? Uh, the coping, the tile, um, when the ozone system goes in, that ozone box is one year. Uh, so I just feel like, I thought it was like um, companies, they're willing to give a bigger warranty because they know their product is really good. Yeah, I mean, more likely if it was, you know, not too far past that one year, they're probably going to help you out and do something. Same thing with the equipment. There's no other company that does three years on their equipment, parts and labor. I mean, mm -hmm. it's great equipment. You're not going to have to worry about it. It's your lights too, fall mm -hmm. under that same warranty. Okay. Um, if a light goes out, um, we don't repair it. We just pull it out and put a new one through. Well, okay. even if it's Typically. after the year or whatever, we, we know their number, we can call them. Oh, and geez. Get it come service. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fix <Yeah>. it. <laughs> But if anything's gonna go wrong, it's gonna be during that first year. Really, is yeah. what happens typically. Okay. Um, we just you make sure you're balancing those chems. Make sure mm -hmm. you're getting your reports to double check your stuff because mm -hmm. if there's chemical damage in this equipment, they could void your warranty. So mm -hmm. make sure you're on point with that stuff. Okay. That's super important. It'll, so it'll help the look of it. You want to keep it looking like this. Mm -hmm. So we need a pool log. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we get it. Yeah. Um, so questions so far? Uh, Let's no. see. Um, so any of this stuff, we don't have to mess with any of this stuff back no, here. No, that's kind of the brain for the pump, and it kind of just does its thing, so you don't okay. have to worry about that. Okay. Uh, these holes here are aren't an oops. They're, they're meant to be here. This is what creates the jets. When we turn it in spa mode, it's sucking in air. Okay. And heading around your spa air bar to create that mixture. Okay. So to recap on the yearly stuff, besides mm -hmm. your weekly stuff, this cleaned every four months. Mm -hmm. This mineral, mineral cartridge replaced every six months. Mm -hmm. And that green hose that I just showed you earlier, mm -hmm. when we put in the ozone power supply and hooked this hose up, this hose needs to be replaced once a year. Mm. This one right here. And we can get that from Leslie? No, you're not gonna be able to get the mineral cartridge or this hose Where from Leslie's. Hose get It'll get connected to this little connection here and to the power supply that's gonna we're gonna be adding. So when it generates ozone, it's going through this hose. So you guys are adding your power supply? Yes, that's mm -hmm. the one that was back ordered that we're gonna be putting oh, on now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So the main thing I was gonna point is this needs to be replaced once a year. Okay. Ozone okay. hose. So ozone hose replaced once a year. If you don't, there's a little check valve in here and in the, inside the, this line that sometimes fails and allows water to get back into the power supply, which we don't want water and power mm. mixing together. Okay. When when are y'all coming to do the power? The other next power week. Supply, I guess. Okay. Next week. It'll be mm -hmm. it. here next week. Okay. Uh, let me see. And then so the other box over there is like a. Um... Yeah. So this is your sub panel. Okay. Which this sub panel powers all this stuff. Okay. So you have a set of breakers on the side of your garage that powers this sub panel, mm -hmm. and this sub panel powers all this good stuff over here. Okay. What's that? I didn't know another. Uh, you say power source or panel ozone power source or panel. The ozone, ozone, was... ozone power source. It's just oh, it's just a okay. it's just a box that goes right here that ties into the automation. Okay. And it just sends ozone and breaks up all that crud in the water. Okay. That's good. So it won't look like oh boys. Uh, you know. No, I don't know. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Um, this little beige box right here, this is your light trans transformer. This is what powers the lights. It knocks it down to 12 watts. They're pretty bright for how small they are. Um, if the pool and spotlights, this is important. This is the number one call we get. Pool and spotlights don't work at the same time. Check this GFI right here. Okay. You guys can use this outlet for whatever, for your smoker or whatever you're going to use it for. You can use it, but sometimes it will trip it. So just reset it like in the kitchen, the bathroom, garage kind of thing. Okay. Which breaker is that though? Is that the breaker? It's right here. It's built, it's built into the outlet. Oh. It's in the middle. Okay, just so we just reset press button. the... Okay, yeah. gotcha. Mm -hmm. It usually happens at 9 o'clock at night yeah. on a Saturday when you got people over and you're right? freaking out because your lights aren't working. Just yeah. check that. Okay. Number one thing. 
So this antenna, this is why you had to swap out and you guys had to get different. Wi-Fi. Yeah, and all that deal, because this ties into it. If uh, you change anything on that, like password, you change your provider or you change your router again, this will need to be reconnected. Okay, mm. so try not to do that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think we're good. We get paid on, good. Our, on our internet, so we like it. So if the power goes out in the neighborhood, which it does sometimes out here when it gets super hot, all this stuff usually reconnects. You don't have to worry about that. Oh, good. Good. If the Wi-Fi goes down, God forbid, mm -hmm. it's still going to follow the schedule. So you don't have to worry about that a year. It's still going to follow the 8 to 4 schedule. Okay. So now do we need to change our schedule? I already did. Okay. So it's 8 because I think the pool guy was it's saying that it was going to get. It's 8 to 4. 8 a.m. to 4 p.m.? 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. And we have it on high speed still a little bit longer just because we're still in that first week and it's starting to get hot and the weather's doing this. So mm -hmm. we don't want it to shrink that too much. Then the pool's going to get cloudy on you. Okay. Okay. So recommend it to keep it in high speed. Yes. Okay. Especially this time of year. Okay. Because I think it was on time, low speed. Come wintertime, we can, we can shrink that high speed quite a bit because you're not, you're not going to be in the pool. The sun's not as strong. Mm -hmm. It's not as hot. Okay. And you said, so is it the 30 days? Um, is it still like a 30 day before we can heat? No, at two weeks, you can heat either one to 90 degrees. Okay, nothing above that. Correct. Okay. After week four, heat it whatever, to whatever temp you want. Okay. Okay. I'm jumping in on, on Saturday. Next yeah. Saturday. Next Saturday. <laughs> yeah. You can't even say that without smiling. Mm hmm. Jumping in. Just, just yeah. gonna be my first dive. You need to get that on slow mo. Mm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I might want to yeah. stretch first, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Right, I'm going to okay. put it back in auto. So when it's in service mode, it kicks you out of the app. So remember that. So okay. Just make sure it's back in auto. Okay. And so Joshua, get your phone so that he can show you some things around the app. Did he already show you? No, but I'm recording. So let's go. Maybe it's better if we go in the shade. Yes, please. Let's go in the shade. We got to get us some storage stuff for this pool equipment. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we keep this or this for our records? Yeah, because I think the permit packs in here, have you guys been finaled yet? Yes. Okay, yeah. yeah. Then I would just keep this in like a record box or something like that. The rest so what of the about stuff all is, this? Like, souvenirs you can get rid of. Okay. The stuff that gets gathered during the build, you know? Okay. So there's your home page right there. So this is where you can set your temps. So this little arrow button right here, if you click that, this is where you can set your spa temp and your pool temp. And then once you set your temps, you just hit save right there. And it saves it and will only heat to that, of course, if you have the heater on. Okay. Uh -huh. um, this little equipment page over here, this is where you can turn on your lights. Uh, you do have two open spots right here. So if you want to control something else like a light for your smoker and barbecue and all that stuff over here. If you've got a conduit going back to the brain where the service button is, mm -hmm. it can control that. So okay. you're, you got a couple open spots here. So if we turn on the light and we just pick a color. So it's gonna start flashing. What this does, say it was on blue before mm -hmm. and you switch it to green or magenta, or whatever, it's gonna go all the way to the top and it cycles down to whatever color you choose. Okay. So that's why it's blinking and going through all those colors. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're also gonna hear a clicking noise over at the equipment and it's just yeah. the relay telling it to change colors. Okay. So don't okay. think there's like a word short or anything like that. It's just part of the process of cycling it down. So when that blue line reaches, it should be in its color? Yes. Okay. Yes. Every now and then the colors may get out of sync. Just call us, we can come out and resync them. Okay. Um, like I said, they're, they're not going to all go out at the same time. It's usually one will go out or something like that if they do. So is there a way to, it's, it's all the same color for the spa and the pool? Yes. Or can you make same them color. change it? Same okay. color. They're uh -huh. all tied into the same circuit. So it's okay. one button turns them on. Okay, good. Are they coming on at nighttime? Yes. Okay. Okay. Has them on. okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have them on a timer that they come on when it gets dark. Okay. okay. And you guys can change the color then you can turn them off not turn them back on it's not going to mess with the schedule we just okay. like them to come on a little bit every it's day it's good so that right. people can know where there's a pool yeah yeah okay. and not following at night because it's pretty we don't have um exterior lights yet okay yeah in your uh, resort back here i know right <laughs> so this is called the one touch page so I'm also going to group another one. I'm going to change this name to pool heat. Not that you're going to be heating your pool this time of year, but I'll, what you, when you're going to heat your pool, you need to turn three things on. Filter pump, pool heater, of course, and high speed. 
Well, I'm going to group them together so it's one button. You don't have to think Thank about you. it or worry about Thank it. Thank you so much. As far as the spa, it's the same thing. We need to put it in spa mode and we need to turn on the pool heater or okay. spa heater. With this, it does it for you. So right now, what's happening over there, let's go back over there and you can see what's going on. So there are some valves that are turning automatically right now that are just isolating the spa. So you see how these things are turning? Oh, wow. And there's one over there turning too. So what it's doing is it's shutting off the pool and you're only gonna heat the spa. So oh once they both goodness. get once they both get in their position, the pump's gonna kick back on and we should see your jets going. There it goes, it's gonna come back on in a sec. So, so when the jets are going, that's not it heating, right? It's not heating yet, no. But since we have that middle button, where you hit the button and you see that it turned all three things on for you. So in a second, there you go, you get. So why does this do this little hurricane thing? Just because a little bit of air might have been in the pump and then it kind of pushed all the air out. It's a self-priming pump, so it's going to push any air that we put in there. And do we need to clean this out? Because I see yeah, it's got... Yeah, I would got... go once a week. I'd be checking that too. I'd be checking the baskets and check the chemicals and check the How do you open that? So shut the system off. Okay. Service mode. Mm -hmm. And then you just hit this, these two little tabs right here, yeah. mm -hmm. and it pops right up. Super easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's not very dirty. Okay. okay. It's a big basket. It can fill up a little bit if we need to. We just don't want it to get past this intake pipe coming in. Okay. To where it will start with my warranty or something? Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so let's go look at your jets. Your jets are cranking over there. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Cool. Oh my goodness. So I like that it can, like, you can turn the jets on and not be heating it. So if I wanted the kids to just be yeah. in this area. Yeah, without getting, uh, getting hot. Yeah. yeah, so it can be like an extra pool. So if you're going to do that, you wouldn't be turning it on from this mode. If you want to just have the jets on, you're mm -hmm. just going to turn it in spa mode. That's okay. all you're going to do. Okay. And no heater. But if you do the one right touch, now, it's heating. Right now, the heater's getting ready to turn on. The heater goes through some checkpoints. It's making sure it has water pressure. Okay. Making sure it has gas. I thought we couldn't heat you. I'm just testing. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't get crazy. You're not going to heat today. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> all right, cool. I just want to test it and make sure it's working. So in a week okay. from now, when you do test it, you're Saudi. not screaming at me, going, "What the heck?" Uh huh. I'm going to take the heat off. This will probably take about with this water temp right now. What's it say it's at? 86. It'd probably take about 15, 20 minutes. Most people are in the, about the 100 range as far as temperature. The mm -hmm. hotter it is, the less time you can stay in it because you're kind of cooking in there. Mm -hmm. We personally like it around 98, 99. What does it go up to? 102. 102, okay. So a safe range. What's that? A safe range. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta get this more. Okay. Um, Okay, so... And the good thing about the way you guys set this up, or the way Duval or everybody set it up, is they mm -hmm. left you some spots that are open, so... Yes. If somebody doesn't want to sit next to a jet, they, mm -hmm. they can. They can move away. Mm -hmm. So there's no foot spot. There's no foot jets, right? It's just at no, the top. it's just they hit you in your back, and it looks like they staggered them a little bit, so they're going to mm -hmm. hit you in different parts of your back, different okay. heights of your back. Nice. Which is great, so you can move around and... Oh, my goodness. So when you're in it, it's not going to be doing the overflow, right? Correct. You're going once you guys all say it's just you and the family. You guys are going to push some water out, of course. If you have mm -hmm. a big group, it's going to push some of the water out. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's not going to be spilling over. This is just a jet action. Just a little bit extra water in there. Okay, nice. Yeah, it looks great. I love it. Oh my goodness. So I need to get a brush for the corners because yeah, that's so a I lot of sand. A, I would get a little small brush compared to that big one you have over there. Just mm -hmm. get one that's about three or four inches. That way you can just brush all this stuff. It's probably just going to be your sand mm -hmm. blowing in here. Yeah, I think that's what it is. And yeah. you could just push it in the pool and let the cleaner kind of pick it up. Okay. You see what I was talking about, about the, the pebble got on the coping? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a tough spot right in there. Yeah. But um, the guy said he can um, have them come clean that off. They have like a special something. Okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah. I just wanted to mention it so that yeah. everybody's aware. Okay. So, so you say you will group up the uh, oh, thing so it can be. Password. Oh, shoot. You know what? Yeah, Joshua, what's your password? Yeah, what's your password? Mm hmm. What's your password? Oh, 
Uh. Oh, now we're in. Uh. Now we know it. Now we know oh, it. We yeah. Yep, got him. <laughs> yeah, he he only told my daughter. So. Oh. Mm. Okay, so say you guys get out of the spa. So you're done using the spa. And say you were heating it, okay, uh -huh. like we're doing right now. Just hit that button one time. It's going to turn your heater off, uh -huh. but it's going to keep the spa in spa mode. Okay. What it's doing is it's cooling down the system. Uh -huh. So once it tells itself, okay, it's cooled down, it's safe to turn everything off, that's uh -huh. what it's going to do. So don't okay. think you did anything wrong over there. It's just doing its thing, uh -huh. cooling the system down. Okay. Lost so is this outdoor temperature or what? Yeah, it's outdoor temperature. Oh we I know. And it will vary too depending on the sun exposure. You mm -hmm. might have a lot of sun going right there and it's gonna spike it a lot more. Okay. Um, where it's really gonna come into play is come this winter time. When it drops below thirty eight degrees, the equipment's gonna come on. Okay. That's freeze protection. Not like it's okay. gonna freeze out here, but it's kinda okay. built into the system. So no It gets alarmed. pretty cold. It was what, forty something? Um it was forty something this past winter. That's cold for me. Yeah, it will drop that low uh -huh. early morning, sometimes uh -huh. in December, January, uh -huh. and then the equipment will kick on. So just okay. know that'll happen. And if, as it starts to warm back up, the equipment will just switch back to whatever schedule. Okay, good. Okay. So it's like fail safes in there. Yes. Okay, good. And it's already programmed. Already programmed at that temp. It's already okay. going to read that temp. Once that temp gets that low, then the equipment's going to kick on. So where's the thermometer for the pool? Uh, right over here in the plumbing. Okay. So that reads, that reads the water temp whether you're in spa or pool mode. Okay. And the one for outside is over here. It's dangling right here. That reads the outside temp. Okay. Nice. So this here, what's the, what's this piece? So. This is something that you guys, when you guys buy chlorine tabs, uh -huh. you can be adding chlorine tabs to this. No more old school little duck or shark kind of floater in the pool. It's built in. Oh, okay. So you just turn the equipment off, of course, unscrew it, drop your tabs in there, screw it back on, and we'll send some extra chlorine to the pool. This isn't your main source of chlorine. This is just a helper. Okay. Your main source is the liquid stuff going in the pool. So how do you know when the, um, how many to put in there and then how do you know you'll, when it's dissolved? Yeah, you'll have to put five or six in and then it, maybe every couple of weeks open it up and check it. Okay, so it'll be completely dissolved when yeah. it runs out. Okay. Or there might be a, a couple still left and you can decide Top what the chemicals off. are and add okay. a couple more if you wanted to. Okay. This display right here you guys don't have to worry about. Okay. You guys are fully automated. This is if somebody wasn't automated, this is where they turn stuff on and off. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so pressure, um, gas pressure, and all that other stuff. I know we had like a we had like this big line right there mm -hmm. when we yep. had failed. It was at zero. Okay. So how do we know if our gas pressure and everything's good to go? Well, at this point, there's no way to check the gas pressure. Mm -hmm. This thing isn't going to ignite if it doesn't have fuel going to it. Okay. So during construction, they had it under pressure, kept it under pressure, it had the leak, well, fixed the leak. Buried underneath this yeah. Thing. Mm -hmm. This little wire right here, this isn't live wire or anything, that's a tracing wire. So if they had to try and locate exactly where the gas line is, they can take a tracer and they can find where the gas line is. Oh, nice. Most most of the, I say all the PMs, what they do is take pictures of all the trenches open. So they kind of know where it's at, but this gives it a more exact spot. So you have a gas valve right there, uh -huh. and you have one at the meter too. And okay. if it's your original meter, call the gas company and have them come out and put a, a bigger meter on. They'll do it for free. So here's my question. Oh boy. I need to get some shade over here. So does, and I, I, I might know the answer to this, but I'm just gonna shoot anyway. So uh, the more you utilize- Yes, Lene. The, the heater, Spa and or pool, the more your therms you're utilizing, it's the more your gas bill. Yes, 100%. Okay. That one's going to be a new story over there. You guys are going to use the heck out of that. I'm doing a video. What's up? Yeah, so, um, okay, that's what, I'm, I'm, that's what I kind of figured. Hang on, Lene. Hang on. I'm just going to be on the meeting. I'm going to be on the meeting. 
A meeting with who? Okay, go ahead. Hmm? She said she's going to be in the office. She's going to be in a meeting. She's been in the office for a while today. Your daughter got a meeting. Let her yeah, attend her meeting. She's doing nothing illegal. Yeah, all right, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so right now it's off. I just shut it off so we can talk. I'm okay. Just, I'm getting ready to turn it back on now. Okay. Yeah, no worries. Okay, so everything's grounded. So um, Yes. Every every piece of equipment, your controller, your heater, um, your pump, all that stuff is, is grounded. Your J box right here for your lights, this is grounded as well. Okay, so that's for the lights. Okay. Yeah, they're inspecting that throughout construction to make sure that's that's done. Okay. And so if God forbid, you know, there's lightning or something like that, it hits can you explain the, the whole process of it or the purpose of it? Yeah, it's definitely, if the lightning comes, it's definitely going to kick a lot of these breakers. And there's a lot of safety things that that's going to happen. They're going to help stop anything from happening to your pool or your equipment. Okay. okay. Very rare that ever happened. I don't even, never even heard of that happening. She would ask that question. Well, I just <laughs> wanted to ask. So I remember they had some, the points around the pool. So are they still, like, how does that work? Is it, like... Yeah, there's still a grid system underneath your concrete that was mm -hmm. required. It's just mm -hmm. a bunch of wire. You probably saw, like, a little mesh wire. Mm -hmm. That's all still in here. They've grounded your rebar okay. before they did the shotcrete. Mm -hmm. It's going to cool down in a second. It's going to shut off on its own. Mm -hmm. So uh, okay. after you, I was telling her, after you guys get done using the spa, you're going to turn off that button on the one touch, shut it off. It's going to keep it in spot mode, but it's just going to turn off your heater. Okay. Once it cools down, then it's going to shut off and switch those valves back automatically for you. So you okay. don't have to worry about doing it since you guys are automated. Nice. Nice, nice. I think um. I understood that. So, so if, we're, if we're using the spa, the spa is on, right? When it happens. Yeah, mine wasn't even connected. It was yours. So. I'm getting the... I'm getting the, the yeah, dead, dead wheel or whatever thing. Cool, it's cool. There we go. I just turned it off from the home page. So, say That's you guys. Yeah, you have to. Somebody hop on a computer all of a sudden? Like right. they did. Yeah. So she's probably streaming something or something yeah. to kind of slow down a little bit or she's got like a Zoom thing or something going on. Yeah. So it will happen. Like this is a perfect example. It's yeah. Wi-Fi. It's kind of like the TV sometimes does that. Yeah. It just mm -hmm. kind of buffers a little bit. And mm -hmm. it will, you'll get it back. You just got to refresh it until it comes back because it is Wi-Fi control. So what I, what I was saying is we got the spa going. The button's green whenever we're done. Is it auto is it on an automatic schedule? Does it does it's it just, not on a it, schedule, it just okay. knows to come on when you toggle that okay. button on. So to get it off, I just toggle the button again. And then it takes a process for it to cool yes. down and then turn off. Yes. Exactly. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. yep. right. mm -hmm. First thing it does is it shuts off your heater. <sighs> okay. Just to cool it down and then all of a sudden, okay, yeah. it's done. Switches back. And if you do it during the day, it's gonna switch back to what we have scheduled. If you use the spa after four o'clock, it's going to switch back to pool mode always and just shut off. Okay. You mentioned you were going to put all on one on the app. Yes. Uh, when, when you I'll do that on the computer when I get back to office, okay. and that'll be grouped. So okay. under spa mode, you're going to see pool heat there too. Okay. okay. It just makes it easier. Then you yeah. just hit one button. You don't have to worry about the three yeah. buttons you got to hit. Kind of. Mm-hmm. Because mm -hmm. I have a feeling she's going to want to use the spa. Sometimes. Well, he's he's, he's blaming definitely... you, by the way. He's blaming you. No, no, no. For the, for the kids without the heat. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just something fun for them to play around in. You don't mm -hmm. have to heat it up. Yeah, that's why I wanted to have, like, this little shelf and then something yeah. that they can play in yeah. without having to, um, you know, mess around with the six feet. Or you can put a couple of chairs right there and you guys are chilling right there. I thought about it, but they'll probably be playing. So. Oh, and their friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's... The perfect liberty. size pool. They got yeah. tiny friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I love it. Everything's coming together. So if any of these tiles come out, like, I don't know why this looks funky right here. This don't look funky to you? This area? 
Yeah, I would, um, who's your project manager? Um, Blaine. Blaine. Mm -hmm. I would just have Blaine, maybe shoot him a picture, because if they're going to come out and do a few things, maybe he can just uh, That's take a look at that. Right? I don't know. I don't know if that's plaster. Yeah, maybe it just needs to be cleaned. So maybe when the guys come over to do that around that edge over there, they can take a look at that. Okay, yeah, I just noticed it right now. I'm like, you know, so like I was about to say, so the tile company within that first, whatever the warranty is, they'll come out and fix this. Yeah, yes. Okay. So I just thought about, I was like, man, that's a lot of tile. Like, what if we end up with those, one of those busted pools with, you know, tiles falling out everywhere? Well, that's the good thing. You guys chose Premier. They're a very large company. If something ever goes wrong, they're going to take care of it. Those smaller companies, mm -hmm. that could break them. Yeah. You know? Okay. Yeah, over time, yeah. Definitely peace of mind knowing that you guys chose Premier. Okay. Yeah, right? I'm telling you, a lot of people, that's why I'm always like making like good videos and posting them because there's a lot of people talk about. Toothbrush. <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? Like, well, in, is in, there a... in, are you talking about this little trough right here? Yeah. Or, yeah, just the... get a little smaller brush. Uh -huh. Like you got that big 12 inch or 14, whatever that is. Yeah. Just go buy a little small one that fits in there and maybe yeah, a three inch yeah. or four inch and just brush all that stuff into the pool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just your beach. It's the yeah. yeah. It's yeah. the sand. Yeah. Mm hmm And that's gonna be just an ongoing thing. Just... Yeah. That's why I tell them. I said the kids they can play. I told the kids. I said they can play over there. This is the actual you know chill spot. This yeah. is not throw the sand up. Yeah. So. Okay. But I'm I'm so glad that you guys actually had a you know like the process to be able to do the whole backyard. Cause I heard stories where some people they only did the pool and, and they ran out of money. The yeah, they ran out of money and just had one little, you know, the rest of the yard looking like yeah. dirt. Yeah, I so. get you. Yeah, but. you got yourself an instant resort. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, I was trying awesome. to do this stuff right now, so. <laughs> well, I'm gonna give you a card. So if you guys okay. think of something else, you have a question, mm -hmm. you're wondering about chemistry. Are you a texter or are you a caller? I like the text. I'm a texture too. Okay, all right. Yeah. yeah. I like the call. That way I see it, I, I'll eventually get to it. You know, yeah. Not to get. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. perfect. Well, I had yeah. a little full school form for you to fill out. So now it's just okay. told itself, okay, it's cooled down. It's safe. Mm -hmm. And, and the, those valves over there are turning back to pool mode right now. Nice. If you didn't have automation, you guys would be getting out of the spa. Somebody's turning off the heater. You're going inside, oh. changing, yeah. coming back out 15 minutes later, <laughs> and turning everything off. So the way you guys have it, it's awesome. You hit a button and it does it for you. Nice. Super cool. Six jets. Six jets. Should be six jets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I guess you guys passed pool school. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my card. And then. It'd be initial print sign and date that we kind of talked about the pool and, and all that good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.